Hey there, Darren Campbell with Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor, builder, remodeler in North Carolina. In this video, we're gonna show you what we keep in our router bag besides this 18 volt Makita router. Also, follow us along as we go out and visit our engineer at an upcoming job. We look in a cracked girder, twisted girder, missing footings, we dig some footings out, whole lot of nonsense going on in that crawl space. All right, follow us along. So I'm pointing out some cracks that are on the exterior brick before we go into the crawl space. All right, so this Makita bag actually came with a corded um, uh, palm sander, Makita palm sander with the bigger kit, comes with all the goodies. Now, you can buy this bag separate, and I actually think you should, because it's a pretty sweet bag. 11, 11, 10 high. Those are the dimensions right there. Let me show you what we keep inside of it. First thing is, we got a air shim, shim up top here. We keep another air shim along the side, whether it's cabinets, windows, uh, what else, doors, you know, you name it, you do it, you can use it with for it. Um, door handle jig. You'll find out as the more I pull out of here why I like this bag and how much work we can actually get done with the amount of tools that are in it. Dwalt door handle jig. Yeah. Kind of tongue twisted there. Uh, here's the original uh, T guide that came with the router. All Makitas have these. Such right there, uh, I gotta spin it, guess a little bit more. Just like that. Yeah, so what else do we got in here? You know what? Let's go check out, see what that engineer's looking at. So we're digging these out to verify the size of the footer. Well, it appears the center pier has a correct size footer. And also Josh has taken some dimensions for his correction on the skirter. Okay, so you see all this stuff over here, router, T, we already did an air shim. We got another air shim inside. Um, I'm gonna show you what this is for here in a second. 18 volt battery. And we start getting into our router bits. We carry eight through three eighths roundover bits. Um, I actually I like these Bosch bits. They hold up pretty well. And then we have a uh, five eighths and three quarter inch, um, just uh, two flute for um, doing mortises and uh, rabbits. Um, that pretty much um, are the bits that I end up carrying on a job. Now. This is the two tools as far as that the Makitas take to change bits. Those always lay in the bottom. We keep these two poles and these actually go with this. And after we dig out this footing, we'll show you how this works. probing beside the footing uh, to see actual depth. Pine shims underneath this girder is the incorrect way of doing this. I mean, a hardwood possibly or steel shims. Uh, that's part of the reason why this girder has failed besides the footings. Uh, and then we gotta come up with a solution concerning this crack. So I already showed you this uh, track guide uh, with the two rods, but what I haven't showed you is that we got a plunge router. It goes on that. Slide it on there, tighten your two, 
screws. Throw your Makita around it. And now we can make precise dados in the field. <laughs> what do you think of that? So um, this works with both the Fez tool and uh, Makita tracks. Um, I, I will tell you right here that we prefer the 36 volt um, uh, Makita track, the, the actual saw itself, but the, the tracks I would probably go with Fez tool. Uh, we have um, the longer festival tracks. That's what we carry and all this works just fine on it And we run our Makita 36 uh, volt track saw on the festival tracks. So all right, I wanted to show you that so <clears throat> Look at all this stuff This right here This is all in that little bag and and it's accessible and we, we can get to it pretty quick. Okay, can we do this? I don't know. First thing we're going to need to do is get a bigger bag. No, I'm just joking. Uh, let's, let's get this thing out. Get her put back in the router. I always keep it stored with, I typically always keep a 5 eighths or 3 quarters uh, straight in there. It goes down here like that. Actually, the wrenches go beside it. And let's get this out. That's all I know to that song. <laughs> okay. Actually, this goes in here. You know, we do use a router a lot, but since I've tried to minimize our tools and what we carry to a job I'm willing for it to be a little bit uh, you know more compact in the setup that we have okay so let's get these bits taken care of five bits one goes over here I put this air shim on that side because I actually want to protect that um, plunge base. This one comes up here. Air shim, air shim. Battery, right there. Where my Ziploc bag go? The cake comes in there. So there's very little room left. I mean, like none. <laughs> but it's it's an excellent uh, setup for a remodeler. All right, so here's the footing. Uh, actually, there is no footing. This is this is bad work here. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We think we got this uh, Makita bag set up pretty excellent. And if you think so, hit that subscribe button, notification, leave a comment. Tell us what we've done right, done wrong, and what you would add in it.
So, all right, catch you on the next one.